to another tactical ASMR video. If you're new here, basically what these videos are is I take all things tactical gear. It could be magazines, pistols, rifles, a plate carrier, this badge, and I tap on it and make soothing, relaxing sounds with all my tactical gear. So, and surprisingly, this right here, this guy, is, is such, you guys are such a big fan of this trigger right here, tapping on the flag. So, welcome, and enjoy the video. So, today's video, we are going to be unboxing a new gun that I have received from Diamondback. So, let's get into it. Oh, that flag tapping is just so, I could fall asleep to this. It's so relaxing. Also, if you've been liking the Tactical ASMR or any of my other videos, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It means so much. Okay, so here is today's, today's gun by Diamondback. This right here is the SDR. And if you don't know what the SDR is, it's it's basically a revolver. It's a do and revolver. In fact, I can tell you more specifically, it's the DB SDR 357 mag, two inch barrel with a six round capacity. see here. It's a revolver with fiber optic rear sight and polished stainless steel. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's inside. Oh, just so you know, uh, Diamondback did send this out for me to review on the channel, so be on the lookout for videos. What do you like better? Do you like the box tapping? Or do you like... Oh no, the flag tapping is... <laughs> the flag tapping is goaded, as they say. Ah, oh, maybe not. Ah, oh, that's too scratchy. Let me adjust here something. There we go. Perfect. Side of the box looks like. We have the pouch where the gun is, and then we have this little little part of the, the box. We'll put the gun off to the side. We have some instructions, and there's nothing else in the box. have we have this little back little pouch of you know operating and safety instruction manual we have a lock that I literally nobody ever uses if you use this lock let me know down in the comments do you actually use it I don't Seriously, who uses this? I mean, I know if you maybe have like a lockbox, maybe you use this, but I don't think people very much use this. I could be wrong. That is very crinkly.
So here we have instructions uh, to uninstall and reinstall the grip. I believe it's called like the Bantam. Yeah, the Bantam grip that they have here. And it kind of, it looks like this. I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. And of course they have, they have this piece right here that would attach to the Bantam grip. And then, of course we have the the contents instruction manual for the SDR revolver made in America. Let's go. Go Trump. Okay, let's put this back in here because we are organized, folks. We are organized. This is a, I believe, a nine and a half to eleven pound trigger pull, which is, I mean, that's that's hefty. It's not terrible, but like, it's it's not. I mean, yeah, it's it's heavy. It's a revolver. What do you expect? Oh, I love that rubber texture. It's like the flag tapping, or. Oh, I don't know. 
this feel, this sounds more thin. This has more like a deeper, rugged texture.